Okay, class, settle down, settle down. It's been a lovely day today. And what a great idea we've had to give our class presentations outdoors, along with our school trip here at Kiwi Gardens. And thank you also to Kate and Hannah, our assistants from Year 9. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Now, we've certainly had some wonderful presentations so far. Now we've got just one more to get through, and then, as promised, we'll be heading to the Hedge Maze of Wonders. Ooh. You're up next. Yeah. Are you nervous? Yeah. Don't be. It's easy. I was nervous at first, but once I started, I was fine. Hey, just remember what we went through at home last night. Use your voice. Big expressions. Beginning, middle and end. Yeah. Okay, thanks sis. Here, if you get stuck, use this. Okay then, for our final presentation of the day... Yusuf? Come on up, Yusuf. And what's your presentation about then? <coughs> My presentation is about the prophets in Islam. Okay, when you're ready. I, uh, um, hi. Hello. Shh. A Muslim believes that God created everything. Uh. Oh, yeah. A Muslim believes that God created everything. And that everything obeys and listens to God. When the earth goes around the sun, it is doing as God has told it to, and therefore, it's obeying God. It's the same thing when the sun goes down and the moon comes up, and when the wind blows and clouds move, and when plants grow and when animals care for their young. They are all inspired to do so by God. And so, in Islam, we believe that everything in nature obeys God. Of all the millions and millions of species on earth, human beings are the only ones that have been given the intelligence and free will that makes us able to choose to worship God. And according to Islam, that is the only reason that God created us, to worship him. Who can, um, <clears throat> who can tell me what worship means? Go ahead class. What does the word worship mean to you? Oh, when you really love something so much. It's when you remember God. It's when you put your hands up and pray. It's like a big bus but without wheels and there's a giant balloon on the top of it. That's an airship you're thinking of, Lawrence? Oh, what was the question? No, it's about asking God for something. It's when you go to church. Or, um... To the mosque. Good. Okay. Thank you, everybody. The way that Muslims understand worship is that we should always remember God. We praise him as much as we can. We should listen to him in everything, all the time. This means we worship God all day long because we are always trying to do as he has told us to. All day long? You must get tired. Is it hard? It sounds hard. It's easy, because even eating, playing or sleeping can be worship. God tells us to do all things that are good for us and only tells us not to do things which are bad for us. In Arabic, the name for God is Allah. So from now on, I'm going to say Allah when I'm talking about God. So, Islam teaches us that we must worship only Allah. Allah alone created everything, and it is Allah alone that we thank and worship. Okay, since worshipping Allah is so important, we have to thank and worship Him properly. But how do we know how to thank and worship Him? Well, Muslims believe that Allah sent many prophets to humankind. These prophets showed us how to worship Allah. Do any of you know the names of some of the prophets in Islam? Lola. Um, I don't know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Um, Abraham, I think. That's right, Prophet Abraham. Moses. Prophet Moses. Yes, well done. That's the same as in the Bible. 
Oh, Jesus. That's right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, yes, Lola? Jesus. Uh, yeah, well done. Do Muslims believe in Jesus? Yes, we do. He is one of the most important prophets in Islam. And his mother Mary was one of the greatest women to have ever lived. Oh, wow. Any more prophets that we know about? How about Noah? He's a prophet in Islam, isn't he, Yusuf? Yes, absolutely. Mm, Noah. Right, yes. Um, so, Allah sent many, many prophets to humankind. These are the names of just some of them. Now, does anyone know why Allah sent them? Go ahead and tell us, Yusuf. Why did Allah send prophets? Muslims believe that the prophets were human beings, like us. But they were very special and important people, chosen by Allah to guide us and to be role models for us. Allah sent all these prophets at different times to different places. The prophets taught many things to people, depending on where and when they were sent. But their message has always been the same, to worship Allah and not to worship anything else. Islam teaches that worshipping Allah and listening to him is the most important thing in the whole wide world. And that's why Allah sent prophets to humankind, so that they could deliver this message to us. The prophets came with rules and instructions which Allah wants us to follow. And these are the same rules and instructions that Muslims should try to live by today. That's it. That's my presentation on the prophets in Islam. Thank you. What does Islam say about animals? Why oh, do you pray five times well, a day? Why do Muslims fast in Ramadan? Um. Settle down everybody, settle down. Because we're short on time, we're just going to take one question. <laughs> okay, all right, that's quite enough. Hands up if you have a question. <laughs> okay, Lola. What's your question? Ooh. Well, um, you said that in Islam, the prophets taught people to worship God. But did they teach anything else? Oh, uh, um, I wasn't expecting questions. Um, well, I, uh, um, where was I? Here, if you get stuck, use this. Oh, yeah. Right, okay, <clears throat> well, the main message of the prophets was to worship Allah. A main part of that is to encourage us to be good and to help others to do good. And they taught us to stay away from bad things and to help others to keep away from bad also. The prophets encouraged us to work hard and also have fun and enjoy our time with family and friends. They taught us to have good manners and to be especially good to our parents and also to be kind to our neighbours. At the same time, they also warned us not to become so busy with things that we forget the real purpose of life. Which is what? Do you remember? To be good and help others. To worship God. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah! Worshipping God. To worship God. That's it. To worship God. To worship Allah. Which means remembering Allah when we do anything, even eating, playing or resting. And we thank and praise him all day long. Thank you, Yusuf. That was a delight. Very well done. Now, who's ready for the hedge maze of wonders? Yeah! yeah. Okay. If anyone else wants to ask Yusuf a question, perhaps you can ask him on the way. If that's okay with Yusuf. Sure, that's fine. This way then everyone, follow me. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Inna awhayna ilayka kama awhayna ila nuhin wa nabiyyina min ba'dik 
وأوحينا إلى إبراهيم وإسماعيل وإسحاق ويعقوب والأصباط وعيسى وعيسى وأيوب ويونس وهارون وسليمان وآتينا داود زهورا The name of God is Allah according to Islam. He created all of everything. We worship Him alone. And His mercy and His wisdom, He sent special people to the world to guide and to teach us what is right and what is wrong. These were the prophets, the prophets of Islam. These were the prophets, the prophets of Islam.